Hello everyone and welcome to American Bus Sim. I mean American Truck Sim. Today we're going to be using this Kamita Kameta Scania uh, bus with a Greyhound livery. And gotta say it is a nice looking bus. Not too sure if this is an actual Greyhound uh, bus, but it looks like it does have Wi-Fi on board. We got our passengers up and ready to get on their journey. And yes, here's a nice look around at the bus. Very weird looking um, tail end of the bus we got going on over here. But, you know, it is not our bus, so we are just going to roll with it. Unsure with all the huge lights and all of that. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a very nice looking bus mod. I actually like it. Don't mind the destination sign. But, uh, yes, a very nice looking indeed. Obviously, the door does not open, which sucks. Here's a look at the interior of the bus. Very nice looking. Got all of our stuff onto the left side there. Speedometer. Uh, very simple layout for the bus. We come up here. Not too much. Got the door. And then we have a door or a partition separating us from the passengers. Very nice. Got our GPS out there as well. So currently we are out here in Idaho Falls as you can see. And we're going to be taking a little bit of a different trip. So we're going to be going northwest up here on 15 which it looks like turns into 90 going up to Missoula. And then we are going to head back down south into Salmon, Idaho. So a little bit of a different type of trip. We could have just cut through here, but we have not explored any of this section yet. So I figured it'd be a lot better to just come out this way and head down into this little truck stop area here of Salmon. All right, let's get on out of here and let's get out of this uh, truck stop gas station looking place here. Let's go ahead and turn off the flashers. Now, this bus has some get up and go, and it does have opening windows, which is cool. Nobody's coming. We are all good. Okay, looks like we're going to be taking a right out of here. The mirrors, I did the best I could with them. It's The mirrors just do not work on this mod here making a right onto Holmes Street. We do have some very good brakes and some very fast acceleration. We've got a green light. Let's go ahead and turn. I don't think we've done any bus mods uh, in this game as of yet. I know we've done vehicle mods, but I don't think we've done any bus mods as of yet. Damn, bro, just gonna, you know, try to make your right-hand turn, stop in the middle of the road, and then go make your turn. Gotta love it. Got to love it. It's a very long red light, not gonna lie. But, this one right here, actually, like I was saying earlier, is a very nice bus mod. It is free available on the ATS mod site. Obviously, it's not a North American bus. I believe this one's actually from like Mexico or Brazil or somewhere, but it is a very nice looking bus mod. And of course, the arrow comes towards the beginning of the uh, cycle. All right, time to get on the interstate here. Now, I am not 100% certain if this is an actual a Greyhound owned bus I just know that the mod came with delivery for it and I'm just like you know what we'll go ahead and use Greyhound today all right I think we were clear I think the only one going was that truck so overnight turned into overtime it looks like as per the SCS uh, trucks uh, skins Okay, traffic signal ahead. 
But my all-time favorite Greyhound bus would have to be the Scenic Cruiser. Scenic Cruiser uh, bus, which if you don't know what it is, you can obviously Google it. Looks like we are taking a right out of here. And this bus has some get up and go. Yes, it does. Hopefully the passengers don't mind my driving. Hopefully they do not. Oh, looks like we got an accident. I see the helicopter uh, floating around. I think we're clear. Oh, we got to go all the way to this lane. Yes, we do. They got that lane partially blocked off. I didn't even look in the mirror when I changed lanes, man. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today so far. It's never a bad day to go for a drive in American Truck Sim. Let's go ahead and set the cruise. Probably should. That GPS is in a very weird spot, not gonna lie. Kinda wish it was over in this corner so I can keep an eye on that mirror. But it is what it is. Do we have to go to the way station? We're a bus. We shouldn't have to. Alright, I was about to say, we should not have to go to the way station. Oop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, go for some crazy driving here, Adrian. Now, I have been on a number of bus trips, not by choice, but it was because either the Amtrak train that I was on broke down, got canceled, or something happened, so Amtrak ended up busing us. Now... I was not really a fan of those bus trips. I obs was absolutely not. I prefer to be on a train, but I mean, a lot of these old movies make it seem like riding the bus is like the greatest thing ever. You know, with Greyhound being like the probably the oldest bus company out there. But it's just not for me, man. Because I've got another helicopter. It is just not for me. It is not something that I enjoy doing. Man, that's another one where they got the lane blocked. That's, that's crazy. That is very crazy. But, yeah, just not for me. There's no... I mean, honestly, you guys might have a different experience. But for me, there was no leg room one bathroom for the bus whereas you know on the Amtrak you have like two per car and just it was just not for me crammed took a lot longer you're driving on the highway it was just not it's just not something I enjoy doing I just do not like taking the bus like back in the day when I was living out in Chicago taking the transit bus it was different because you had to take that from point A to point B but if I were to go anywhere in the world or not in the world but anywhere in the u.s i would definitely take the train over a bus over an airplane uh depending on driving though depends if the train doesn't go there yes i'll drive but i would much rather take the train anywhere in the united states maybe even in other countries too I'd like to go see what their uh railroad is like and the, how the trains look and all of that good stuff but man, I just I just can't do buses. I seriously cannot do buses. Speedy Express. We've got another way station. Oh, we don't have to pull into this one, I don't think either. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, and it's closed. That's awesome. That dude is kind of tailgating that trooper a little bit. Yes, he is. But I know I talk about her a lot on the channel. But Lauren is seriously the most perfect girl 
for me. And I honestly cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Yep, we just got married back in October of 23, so a couple months ago. Uh, we moved in with each other right then and there, shortly after. But I seriously cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. A lot of people might say that it was too soon that we got married, too soon that we moved in with each other. But I mean, when you know, you know. And I had strong feelings, she had strong feelings. We both knew exactly. Look at that U-Haul for $15.99. That is awesome. That is a weird looking U-Haul truck though, or van or whatever it is. But I had a gut feeling since the first day I met her that she was the one. And we were basically, I met her at her job at, when she was working at Krispy Kreme. Right after one of her uh, night shifts, she was getting off at six. It was me, her cousin, and her. Uh, we all went to a Chinese buffet on a date. Her cousin left like halfway after, says he approves of me. And it was just her and I sitting in a Meyer parking lot, just chatting and laughing. And I felt myself in love with her then. And the rest is just history. But it wasn't like, like I was saying with her cousin, it wasn't a typical first date. Um, because that's because she was apparently nervous to all hell. And she had her cousin come out just to calm her down because of previous ex relationships and experiences and stuff. So he came out and yeah. It was crazy because I actually called into work that day when we were going to hang out. And we had a lot of speed bumps. I'm not going to lie. We had a lot of speed bumps with weather and her work schedule and both of us being sick. Oh, nope, I'm going straight. I'm going straight. <laughs> but we did have some speed bumps, like I was saying. And uh, we went to a Chinese buffet afterwards. And mostly buffets are not her thing. And I found that out afterwards. But, man, you, you can't go wrong with the Chinese buffet. You, you seriously cannot. There's actually a... It's a Amish homestyle buffet about 30 minutes south of me where... It's in Amish Town, Illinois. Everything in this buffet is made from scratch, like mashed potatoes, fried chicken, meatloaf, fried fish. Everything is made from scratch. And I've only been there once, and I fell in love with the place. And I'm trying to get Lauren to go get rid or get over her fear of buffets just so we can go there, because it is uh, it is one of my all-time favorite places to eat, probably in all of Illinois. But uh, if you guys can, you know, hop in the Discord and help her get over her fear of buffets, that'd be great. I appreciate you guys. But, you know, after that first date, we continued talking. We dated for a while. Had a little speed bumps in the relationship. But that's also because she just got out of a toxic 10-year relationship. So I was just, I was being patient with her since she ended up going through a divorce and it was a guy that she was with from high school who turns out to be a piece of work and the rest is history. Now we're married, living together and couldn't be happier, could not be happier. But the moral of the story is patience is key because we started talking like a few months before we even met up and whatnot on our date and we stopped talking and then we started talking again and then we stopped talking and then we started talking again and then that's after the third time is when we uh hit it off and we ended up you know continuously talking and met and all that uh we dated for about a month afterwards we split up for about a month and a half because she had to find herself this was obviously after the first date Ultimately, she ended up falling in love with me, and now we're stronger than ever and could not be happier. Dollar general, dollar cheap. Have we come around some curvy, curvy roads, man? I'm gonna pay attention to the roads right here because these are some curvy roads. Look at that Lone Star. That's not a Lone Star. Yeah, it is. Darts. Woo, we are speeding, I think. 
Oh, sorry, car. Sorry, sorry. Hub access, silver bow. Yeah, I don't think we're going that way. So we're only going 52, so this uh, speedometer is either not working or it's in kilometers per hour. Okay. Kind of hard to keep it between the lines now, man. I'm trying to get the cruise set, and the cruise just does not want to set. There we go. I think we're good now. But I mean, I know I talk about her a lot on the channel more than I actually talked about my ex, but she genuinely made me happy. What's going on over here? Oh, we have a major collision. Yep, that's not my problem. No, it is not. And uh, we're just going to keep going through. It looks like uh, I don't know which way we're going. I know we're going on 90. That's all I know. Uh, looks like we're going to Missoula. Oh, it looks like it's about to start to rain here. Oh, we're going on a circle interchange, fellas. Better slow down. Oh, that rain's picking up. Turn on our lights here. Okay, well, it is starting to get foggy and rainy. Woo! Like the roads are going to get slippery, man. We might need to get some new tires on this bus. Are right, you there, dumper? Okay, yeah, I was not expecting it to storm on this journey, but it looks like it is. But it is kind of nice with her because with my ex, she would always hate when I, you know, worked on content or tried to do anything YouTube related or even just played video games in general. Like she hated it. She didn't, she was not a fan. She did not like it. And with Lauren, it's actually a lot different because she's like pushing me to make content, pushing me to, you know, game with my buddies and just game in general, like do what I love doing. And it's, it's, it's a different feeling, I gotta say. It's very different. I'm not used to it, is what I'm trying to say, because I'm past relationship. I'm just used to, you know, you never spend time with me. You're always playing the games, or you're always doing... You're always making content. You never spend time with me, To Yeah, go do... Go, go make content. Go do, you know, play your games. I'm just gonna watch TV. Go do what you want to do. It's just a different feeling. It feels good, though. It really does. And this rain is, like, raindrops are different. I put, like, some brutal, realistic rain uh, mod in. It's not the same brutal weather mod that we've had in before. But the rain just looks so interesting. Not gonna lie. But there's also a lot of things that both of us have never experienced in a relationship, which is having freedom. We never really, both of us were never really able to do what we wanted. Um, she wasn't allowed to play video games or even allowed to have a drink. For that was some lightning, man. Okay. But she wasn't allowed to even have like a beer without getting yelled at. Same with me, I wasn't even allowed to hang out with my friends at all. My ex never liked any of my friends. She always hated them, she said they were bad influences on me, and never allowed me to hang out with any of them. Man, this weather mod is interesting. It really is. Okay, yeah, we definitely need some new tires because we are sliding. 
But it's just a whole, you know, different feeling knowing that we have freedom in this relationship that we both do, that we can do what we want to do within reason, of course, and not have to worry about, you know, getting yelled at or getting screamed at. If I want to go out and hang with my buddies, I can go out and hang with my buddies. If she wants to, you know, drink a beer while she's watching TV, she can do that. Like, it's just stupid stuff like that that really you know made or make or break a relationship and i'm surprised i put up with it for that long she's surprised she put up with it for 10 years but all that matters is we're out of it now and both of us are together we're married and we could not be happier this is some interesting rain look at the lightning strikes up there that's cool that is cool as shit i like how it's still light though you know it's not like completely dark you can still see the road it's just the raindrops and all that and the skybox is super light kind of looks like the sun's out a little bit uh, up in the clouds over there I know it's not but it kind of looks like it and you have like those random bursts of lightning I think the raindrops are just a little too big though for my liking but I mean it it is cool you can still technically see the road but it's usually in a rainstorm like this you you won't be able to see the road so oh shoot 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 sorry 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 Looks like we are getting off here. All right. And we are going to be taking a left once we get out of here. Going on 93 South. Of course, we're going to get a red light. I swear, though, these red lights in ATS have gotten longer and longer. Yes, they have. Up to another red light up here. Of course, as soon as I stop, it turns green. No right turn. Well, kind of figured. One thing that her and I uh, make plans about doing is since we both enjoy watching like haunted, like ghost uh, hunters and those types of shows. One thing that we want to do is go on haunted road trips. Now, there's going to be some other, like, stuff with it because it's not just going to be, like, a haunted road trip. Obviously, we are also foodies, so we like looking at different types of food, and I'm hoping... Okay, I'm just going to say, I'm hoping you were going to yield to me. But we're going to kind of have it be, like, a haunted slash food road trip that we want to take. Um, we... We've been kind of looking up like different abandoned or haunted like places, buildings around this area. And I keep thinking this lane's going to end, but I don't think it's going to. Um, like different abandoned places around the area where we're at or even like, you know, a couple hours away or so. Woo okay. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Okay, now I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to turn right up here. I think that's what we're doing. Low, low, right at signals. Pretty sure we're supposed to turn right up here. What a long crossing arm. <laughs> It is a very long crossing arm. 
Got the green light, knowing to my luck there's gonna be a train coming through. Okay, make this right hand turn. But like I was saying though, um, so we've kind of been looking up like different haunted places that are close to us, like the cemetery, there's a couple buildings and all of that. And we've also kind of been looking up like different restaurants and whatnot that are that we would find uh, that where the food actually looks good like in the videos but obviously you know sometimes the videos and when you go to the actual restaurant it's different but there's just a bunch of different places that we want to try and all that and uh, I feel like going on road trips would be cool I know I said in the beginning of the video that road trips are not really like my favorite mode of travel I'd much rather take the train but I mean, if it's for something like this where a train would not be feasible, yeah, I'm down to go on a road trip. And that was kind of her and I's thing uh, when we first met is we used to take a lot of road trips throughout central Illinois a lot. And we kind of stopped doing that recently, but we do want to pick it back up here um, sometime, hopefully this year. But yeah, it was just a big part of our relationship was just going on road trips and just being out on the road just you know driving talking listening to music laughing and just having a print and having a damn good time while doing it way station another mile i don't want to go through a way station man target it's open of course it is i was about to say i hope i can bypass I'm a bus. I should not have to stop at a way station. Have a great day. So this must be low low. This has to be low low. Wish we could view it. Oh, there's another bus. Looks like a makeshift Greyhound bus. Nice, nice, nice. I don't even know what speed limit we're going. <laughs> I really don't. I think the speedometer, I don't know if it's in kilometers or if the speedometer is just completely messed up. But I, I think it's just messed up. Looks like it's gonna be a rainy, rainy episode. Yes, it is. Oh, we're merging. Do the zipper merge here. Perfecto. Oh, another bus. I think that one's a tour bus, though. I don't think it's a charter bus. All right. Here we go. All right. Definitely need some new tires on this bus because we are slipping and sliding everywhere. I don't think we I don't think the main maintenance guys checked the uh, tread on the tires. I really don't think they did. I'm actually kind of scared to drive this bus the rest of the way down. We got nothing but curvy roads, I'm pretty sure. All these cars turning left. And I can't even go that way. East Fork Road. East Fork Bitterfoot River or something like that. Oh, looks like the rain might be coming to a stop here. It's starting to slow or uh, die down a little bit. Obviously, roads are still going to be pretty slippery. All right, 55 through the curve here. Oh, 
a nice little uh, drive we got going on over here. I like going through that, What I think it was what, Lolo? That was a neat little town. Little city or whatever you want to call it. Neat little drive here through, uh, through a forest. Slower traffic, keep right. Yep, that's going to be us. Well, that box truck completely blows our doors off. Oh, there's a cop. There is a cop. 25 flashing. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna slow down because this truck's slowing down. The cop's slowing down. I don't want to be the one getting a ticket. How are the dairy? All right, dude, you don't have to go that slow. Come on, man. Didn't think he had to go that freaking slow. Let's let's go ahead and pass this guy. Obviously, I don't want to pass the cop, but I, I want to pass this truck. And watch now. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Oh, we did it. We're swerving. I think we got a 35 through here on this curve. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we're kind of hugging both lanes here. Oh, we're going to hit the guardrail. Yep, 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 yep. We got some bad tires on this on this bus. Yes, we do. Once we get here, I'm feeling we're going to take this bus out of service. Rest area one mile. Probably should stop at the rest area and get this truck taken out of service. But I, I think we'll be okay to bring it to the rest of our destination here. Yeah, neat little off-road rest area. Welcome to Idaho, everybody. 59 miles left to go. Curvy, curvy roads, man. Merge left. That's going to be great. Yeah, we're going to run into some traffic here. There's that box truck that blew our doors off. Yeah, we're nearly going to run into some traffic here. I might need to take this uh, route in a truck instead of just a bus. Stop the engine for what? Oh, that was a, a sleeping point. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to sleep. I got passengers on the bus that need to get going places. Of course, we're gonna be stuck behind a very slow truck. And there's a cop, so we can't pass, or else we'd get a ticket. Hopefully it turns into a two-lane here soon. I doubt it, though, because we have a lot more curves. I get it. The roads are kind of slippery. I get the whole going slow thing, but come on, dude. I get it. You're trying to be safe, but we got places we got to go. We got people we need to deliver. Well, not deliver, but drop off and stuff. <laughs> oh, boy.
Watch for rock. Oh boy. Really? Really? Come on, dude. You don't have to be going this slow. Come on. Man, we're going to be nighttime before we even get there. I swear. Okay, this one he might need to go 25 or 20 on. This one I can understand. I definitely need to take a truck through here. Historical site to the left. See, my goal is I want to get the roads 100% completed. But it's just stupid stuff like that. Like, not visiting that historical site leaves that little patch of gray. And, in my opinion, I think it should just automatically take it. Or like whenever you go on a on and off ramp, like drive past it on an interstate, I feel like you should get the credit and have that on and off ramp become yellow because you're not going to go through every on off ramp whenever you're driving through. That's just be a big waste of time. But that's just my opinion. I feel like they could do a lot better with their uh, map exploration. But that is, like I said, that's just my opinion. Alright, coming into Salmon here. It looks like it's about to get dark. Street lights are on. DFA, not where we're going. 45 mile an hour zone. I'm pretty sure we're going about 45. So there is that little uh, rest area up here. And that is actually the bus station. So 45. 35. I think it's this. No. Up the road a little more. Yep. It's going to be this right here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a truck headquarters. That is what it is. So we're going to pull into the headquarters. Looks like something's under construction over here. Obviously, this is not our headquarters. We just use this to turn around. I love how that garage opened. We just uh, use this spot to turn around to go to our uh, bus station here. All right, stop sign, bus stops over here. Looks like we got nobody getting on. We might have some people getting off. All right, everybody. That's where we're going to end it here today. Put on that parking brake. Very nice looking bus mod. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed our little uh, slippery, crazy driving today. Hit the like button if you did and that subscribe button. All the social media, everything you need to know about that and Discord is in the description down below. Will not have a link to this mod due to it being on the various ATS mod sites, and you guys know my opinions on that. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.